welcome to the channel, uh, Stevie, the military biker. Uh, today, as you can see right in front of me, uh, is a gorgeous, gorgeous day here uh, in southern Alberta. And look at those mountains, man. How can you ever get bored of those? I know I can't, that's for sure. But anyway, we're off to a... Uh, there's a road that skates basically all the way down sort of south uh, of those mountains right there. Um, and in that direction, you know, in, in the southern direction. Um, so it goes all the way down to the border with the states. So I want to see if I can get on it um, and see what views we can get realistically and, you know, see where it goes. And potentially there is some uh, different routes and places. I think, you know, uh, I'd like to hit Fanny, maybe, in uh, British Columbia, which is two hours away, 208 kilometers away. Maybe we'll get there. It's. Um, I don't even know what time it is, uh, in the morning time. Um, so that's the plan for today. As you can see, it's amazing scenery. Uh, I've got the drone with me, so hopefully we get some amazing drone shots uh, of something, maybe. I know there's a few falls uh, on the way, so we'll stop and check them out. So hopefully I am on the uh, coal trail here in Alberta, so hopefully it doesn't turn to fucking gravel at any point, because if it does, um, I've probably got a 40 mile trip back the way. Uh, I came to get back to tarmac. So let's fingers crossed it doesn't go to gravel and uh, we'll hit the road and see where we're off. Anyway, let's go! temperature obviously the closer I got to the Rocky Mountains the temperature absolutely plummeted um, I started out it was 16 17 degrees Celsius um, and it's dropped down to probably around 9 degrees which is freezing cold so uh, especially when you're riding as well you know it's always good to have a jacket on hand so I had to stop pull over and uh, put my jacket I mean look at that view mate Ooh. Uh, put my jacket on because I was freezing my nads off. So, yeah, Baltic. <laughs> you wouldn't think it was nearly June, would you? Canada's weather drives me insane. There's still some parts of the road back there where still got, you know, uh, snow on the sides of the road. It's just un unreal. Unreal. What's down there? I wonder that something must be down there for people to park there. Shrek, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, always come prepared, man. Definitely, that is top scouts tip of the day. If you don't have a uh, coat in your bag or a coat in one of your side bags, wherever you go, uh, a jacket, then, you know, an extra warm gear, then then do, you know, because it comes in handy. It definitely comes in handy when the weather drops like that, you know, because it can drop unexpectedly, like, you know, it did for me there. But I can cure people behind me, man. Jesus. 
But you know, I can't complain about the scenery. Unfortunately, the sun's covered by those bloody clouds, uh, so hopefully it doesn't rain. You've got about 40 k's to go to the next turn, and I'm um, seeing so never know. Might see some bears. Might see some moose. Might see something. Anyway, let's go. Just absolutely gorgeous, man. It really is. This is now. Uh, I've come off the highway 22 uh, south. Uh, I'm now heading uh, west on highway number three into British Columbia. British Columbia. Well, this road then takes you all the way through into uh, into BC, as it's called. I mean, look at that over there. Woo! Yeah, damn. Uh, so hopefully there's a petrol station soon enough, a gas station, and somewhere where I can grab a brew to warm the hell up man it's freezing and potentially we'll show you uh, a town called Frank and basically what happened is the uh, the side of the mountain literally fell off or collapsed and crumbled into the town of Frank uh, killing uh, a few hundred people and it's just unbelievable to see literally a full side of the mountain just fell off which we're going to get to shortly but so we'll uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the drone up and get some footage So there you have it guys, that is the, uh, the Frank slide as you can see from here, it is epic in proportion, it's absolutely unbelievable the scale of which the, you know, the, the destruction that happened when that, when that mountain fell off and obviously hit, hit the town of Frank, uh, killing you know, a few hundred people and people are still buried under there uh, and apparently the legend goes that they're still uh, at the bank that was here at the time. There's still gold buried under under here somewhere, uh, wherever the bank stood. So, um, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. It amazes me every time I come through here and I see it. To be honest, it's just the sheer size of it and the sheer fact that just the mountain just went bosh and came off. Man, I mean, look, it's mental. Absolutely crazy. Anyway. I'm heading that way. The Scouse Glide is doing amazing. We're gonna go that way, we're gonna get a bite to eat, uh, fill up, and then head back. So, 
See you shortly. Sit rep. Uh, midway through break. Having a fucking grilled cheese wrap from uh, grilled cheese wrap, grilled cheese sandwich from Tim Hortons, and a coffee because I'm freezing. <laughs> Literally cold as fuck. Um, so, oh, it's so good. Um, as you saw, we come through uh, Frank's slide over there, and you, you wouldn't be. Hopefully the, the video does it, you know, justice because you can't believe the devastation that that caused, man, it was mental. Um, currently I am at the Crow's Nest Crossing in Crow's Nest Pass. I'm going to wake my way down to Fernie, which is probably about another 40 minutes-ish. Uh, have a little ride through Fernie and then turn around and go back. Uh, what I will say about the Tim Hortons and the gas station at uh, the Crow's Nest Crossing is right now diesel is 197 and normal gas is 173.9 and i have to wait literally 15 minutes for a brew and a butty because fucking tim hortons is just slow as anything but on the on the plus side there's loads of old classic cars riding around for whatever reason anyway whatever right i'm gonna smash this i'm gonna hoover this i'll see you on the road Apparently the world's largest truck. Let's go over and check it out. Look at the size of that. Yeah, damn. It's fucking huge. We're gonna have a look, see, eh? Size of that. Jesus. <laughs> fucking hell. That's huge. So that is the uh, the world's largest truck. The fling the bird up. Mahusiv man! Anyway, let's get go. Get go, get go, get go to Fernie. <laughs> so think about these little towns and you know random ass places is they've got some cool stuff stuff. Also, I mean the world's largest largest truck. What's not cool about that? We'll give them away. Listen to that beast! Oh, she's lovely. Sounds so good, man, with them Vance and Hines 4 inch bad boys on the back end, double piped. That sounds so good. Picturesque, man, look at that. Green, green grass. We have the 
the Elk River Hotel. That looks like an excellent place to stay. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say stay there, yeah, definitely, you know. You're like your asshole, I wouldn't. Bavaria this little bit actually how green and you know the pastures where the cows are and stuff very Bavaria -y 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 -y. if that makes sense look at that Woo, baby I'm go through the tunnel and I'm going to turn around yes there it is there look Woo. look at that so I'm going to go through the tunnel, turn around, park there, get the drone up potentially. And see what's what. If there's any bears and stuff. I haven't seen any bears, which is quite bizarre. But anyway, tunnel time for all of those bikers. That turns us into four-year-old children when we do this. <laughs> Amen! This thing can shift. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Hey, we get to do a tunnel thing twice. Even better. Even better. Check it out. <laughs> Such a child. Such a child! <laughs> oh fuck. Right, anyway. Ooh, what's that there? I can see something moving, man. Is that... Potentially... That could be something with four legs. Let's go.
What's up? Uh, so that's nearly the end of the video actually. I'm actually gonna turn around now. Um, get the badass scouse guide. Look at the badass fat ass on that. God damn, she got a fat ass. Cobra seat, Advan Black, awesome. Advan Black front wraparound fender, just custom dynamics, LEDs all around. Oh, um, Freedom Shields, Shield, <laughs> amongst other things. But um, I'm going to hit the road a minute. I'm going to drink this can of Coke. It's just stunning, isn't it, man? You know what I mean? This is what, this is why we ride, man. And this is, this is absolutely why we go to places like this. It's just for to see shit like this, just for the day, just to get out, man. You know what I mean? Look at that. I mean, yeah, all right, it's not the greatest of days. It's not like, you know, sun's out cracking the flags, clear blue skies, but it is the odd bit of um, blue sky comes through now and again. The sun comes through, hits you when you ride, and it makes you feel good, man. It really does. Um, so I'm going to drink my can of Coke, and I'm going to get on the road. So stick around for some more footage. Um, cool riding footage. And then that'll be the end of the video. All right, be good. Right there. Boosh. So if you're uh, down this way and you're passing through Fanny and you come through here before you hit the Tunnel of Doom, make sure you get a picture with the old uh, military biker sticker. <laughs> Look at that shining bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah. Let's go home. Right, because I'm a good guy, I'm going to show you guys downtown. Dantan is the fucking geezer from London would say. Dantan. So, let's go. Fucking bumpy ass motherfucking roads, man. Or, shite Harley Davidson suspension. What a mixture of both. However, that's an old building, look at that. Check that out. Wow. Wow, crazy. Old building. And if my memory serves me correcto, which my memory is getting obviously worse uh, as I get older, it's up here, just left at this junction right here. What's this fuck nugget doing? Go on, piss off, lad. Now, that, the brick house, is good for a piss up. Great beers in there. And you normally have a patio outside, yes, which they still do. Um, come ahead, lad. Yep, cool patio right there. And this is the main street uh, in Fernie. Like I said, lots of stuff to do. Restaurants, bars, shops. Um, Patios, obviously. Uh, big bagels, they do good bagels, man, they do, from what I remember. Um, and there's some cracking places to stop and eat. And that is for Shizog. I'm sure there's an old train station as well, which I believe is somewhere around here. But anyway, as you can see, there's loads going on. And it's a pretty awesome place to, you know, to stop and have something to eat. And we're going to go left. Yeah, we're going to go left. Get the feck out of here. Those are good. So there you go. Fairly Toon Centre. Pal. It's as little as that. But it's as cool as that. <laughs> 